the game has changed. Maybe I need to say the game has finally changed. It is great that I can make this video. And if you are an old school networking veteran like me, then you know that a couple of times in your life or a couple of times in your career, products flow by that are really changing something, that are truly differentiating. And I think Aruba did it. If you have, if you have reading the news, and Aruba just did a recent announcement of a new core and aggregation switch. And the new core and aggregation switch, they are naming the Aruba 8400. But what I really like about it is the disruptive vision and strategy behind this product. Because if you think about it, mobility and IoT are changing everything, are changing the way we do business, are changing the way we, we have design approaches to our networking infrastructure. So the question we need to ask ourselves is, is legacy core switching still be enough for these new approaches? So should you change the core too? And I think that's a yes. Because what we truly want is we want to have a core switch that is able to deliver us true visibility, true automation, and agility in our campus infrastructures. And I don't want to give you a boring slide deck in order to be able to look at the product or enable to present the product. So I'm going to do something changing here. And I want to give you more something more mobile. And let's have a look at the application named HPE 3D. Not sure if you know it, but HPE 3D can be downloaded in the Android App Store, something like that. And I want to thank the guys for, uh, from Noxplay here for making a great Android simulator. And if you look at HPE 3D, you can select the product here. Then you can uh, select HP Networking. We're going to the catalog. We're going to select the Aruba products. And on the Aruba products, we're going to scroll down to the Aruba 8400. It is already in there. And what you will see is that we will get the Aruba 8400 products here. And there's the Aruba 8400. And in this, we, we can have a look at the product here. So this is the front view of the product. You can see that these are the management modules. This is a module that is a six port, a 40 gig, 100 gig. This module is an eight port, 40 gig. And this module is a 32 port 10 gig, SFP, SFP plus, including MagSec. So now we can look at the product around. We can even double click on it. And we can even look how the let state is on the management module are. We can even see the console ports are available, management ports are available. And we can also look the whole product in 3D. Isn't that cool? So we can see the exact product. We can see what it is. Here are the power inlets. You can see that these are the vent rays with, uh, with six fan bundles in here. So two, two, two. And we can look around the whole product. But what is also great on this product, and that's what we are going to do right now, is we have some product animations in here. So we can say, well, we are already have the front view. So let's say, let's have a look at the six port module. Isn't that great? And you can see the six port, uh, six port 40 gig, 100 gig module here. And you can, if there is more information, you can, uh, you can, you can scroll up here. What you also see that is all these line cards and all the fabric cards are in a metal brace. You see, so this is all to protect the, the product, right? It's giving you a better quality product because you can slide in the cards without having the risk of, of pulling something off the cart or something. So it's truly protective. It's a true, amazing hardware design here. So let's have a look at the 8-port module then. So this is the 8-port module. You can see all the information in here. So what if we have a look at the front view of the product? So this is the front view of the product and we can see we can scroll up here for all the information. You can see it's a 1 point or a 19.2 terabit second switching, 1.2 terabits per slot. It's Aruba CX uh, is the OS. It's a truly new modular OS with a full focus on automation and usability 
everything is exposed via REST APIs, Python scripting on the box. There is even something called a network analytics engine that gives you visibility and also the, the possibility to take control. Of course, a complete L2, L3 uh, feature set. It's a complete different way in doing management of this box. And it is an 8 AGU SESHU, high density line rate. And if you go to the back of this, um, you can also see the, uh, for example, the power su supply modules are here in the front. You can see this is where you remove, but you saw that the inlets are on the back. And this is how you can even, uh, what is even fun if you go to the rear of this product. Um, let's go to the rear view. Then you can also have a little bit of a look, for example, at the fabric module. What you will see is that first you remove the vents, and then you can see the fabric modules in there. This will make the box smaller, more compact. It's truly revolutionary design. And this is a 7.2 terabit fabric module. There's three possibilities to have three in a box. And of course, everything is fully redundant, M plus N or M plus 1. And you can also see a single van here, for example, to be removed. And that's where you can see all the information in here. So now we can see the remove the van, and as you can see, there's the van. So this way you, you don't have to show or have a look at the product with a boring presentation. You can really have a 3D animated made it box. And I truly, if you're interested in changing the networking interest industry, if you're interested in DevOps, if you're interested in automation network visibility, I encourage you to have a look and a deeper view on this. On, on this box. The software on this is truly mon modular. It's called the Ruba OS CX and it's truly differentiating. You, you didn't saw anything like this in the industry. Thank you very much. Hope you like this video. Of course, if you have any questions, leave comments, uh, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Hope to see you next time.